Hello and welcome to Guangzhou in China for the first day of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals. Guangzhou steeped in more than 2,000 years of history, a cultural gem that also boasts ultra-modern transport links for its 13 and a half million people. It's the city of flowers, the temperate climate means they blossom all year round. But for 64 of the world's best badminton players, it's only the next five days that count. The sky's the limit at the climax of another sensational season. We're at the Tianhe Gymnasium, and in total, we've 20 matches for you today. You'll see every one of them live across two courts. Well, let's show you where we've been. Well, pretty much everywhere is the answer. You'll see on the far left there, that's California. We've been to Europe. We've been all across Asia. And on the right-hand side, Australia, and even a tournament in Auckland, New Zealand. And now, we're in Guangzhou around about 120 kilometers north of Hong Kong. And that's the scene for the 2019 climax of the season. And because it's the final event of the year, the players and officials enjoyed a gala dinner on Monday evening, a chance for the great and the good, including a debonair Victor Axelson, to put on their glad rags and just for once mingle in a convivial rather than a competitive atmosphere. Well, clearly this tournament, one of the sport's signature events, and the evening also saw the star performers of 2019 recognised for their achievements, Player of the Year awards, officials were re rewarded as well in a host of different categories. And it was also a chance for the world's media to grab a final chat with the stars of the show. Well, no question that sparks will be flying here over the next few days. It'll be unpredictable if past history is anything to go by. As ever, it's sure to be thoroughly entertaining, as it was on Monday night. So sit back and enjoy it all with us. Well, here's what they're playing for, the magnificent trophy inspired by the city's Canton Tower itself. I'm sure you'll agree it's a pretty unique design. Oh, and there's the little matter of one and a half million dollars. That's US dollars of prize money. Six figure sums on offer for the winners of both the singles and the doubles events here this week and weekend. The format, well, there are group stages to start, four in each group, and the top two progress through to the semis. So we've got the group stages Today, tomorrow and Friday, the semi-finals will bring to you all ten of them on Saturday and then the Swan Song. Five finals live on Sunday afternoon. You will see every single match live in this tournament across two courts. Here's what's on today in our first session, kicking off with mixed doubles. Pu Avaranya Crow and Terra Tanachai have reached five finals this year, but Sio and Che lead the head-to-head. -head. Then an all-Chinese Taipei men's doubles. Liam Wang start favourites against Lu and Yang. It's their first ever meeting. More mix to enjoy after that as four world number one Chinese pair Wang and Huang take on the Malaysian veterans Chan and Go. Before a couple of eye-catching men's singles, first a battle of two former world champs, Asia versus Europe, Chen Long against Victor Axelsen. And to conclude the first session, another belter, Xiao Tian Chen, the world number two, versus the gloriously entertaining Anthony Ginting of Indonesia. Plenty to come in the evening session too, including women's title favourite Chen Yufei, world men's champ Kenta Mamata, and the brilliant PV Sindhu, all on the bill on day one here in Guangzhou. Let's wake up the technical official. As mentioned, we are kicking off with the mixed doubles, one of two mixed doubles matches that we'll be showing you in our first session here. And bound to be a few nerves. Even though these players are pretty experienced, it's world number four versus world number seven. So they've been around the block a few times. That's the Thai pair just limbering up. Sarah Tanachai there. Here's how the two groups break down, and our first offering, in fact, both the matches we're going to show you today, come from Group A.
pretty good records, both of these pairs. More than 200 matches for the ties, and they've only lost 63 of them. Sio and Chai, just over 80 career matches, and they've only lost 23 of them. They've also got a winning record head-to-head. 3-2 -head. they lead against uh, the tie pair. So every indication this is going to be a potentially close run encounter. Officials are out on court and the players are about to make their entrance. getting this light and sound show back home. It's uh, pretty dramatic. We've got some dry ice in the arena as well. There you go. Always good to see the youngsters getting involved here. Decent crowd building up. It is a work day, of course. Just after 11 o'clock in the morning on uh, Wednesday morning, local time. Smile from Che Yujun. That's the proof of it. Sio and Che lead 3 2, although the last encounter was won by the ties in straight games. Can't win the event in your first group match, but if you lose it, you really heap the pressure on yourself. So you may well have to win the next two. There's Dechapol Puvarania Cruz, 22. They are ranked four in the world. That almost their highest ever. They were three only in October. Reached their first major final as a pair. Back in 2017, that was the Singapore Open. To five finals this year. And they've won three of them, including a couple of S 500s, Korea Open and Singapore Open. As we look at Satsiri Teratanachai, three years her partner's senior. They had a terrific world championship, too, these two, capturing the silver medal in Basel earlier in the year. You may have seen that with us. and a couple of uh, other finals too, the Malaysia Masters and also the Thai Masters. And their opponents, Xiaoxun Jay, both left-handers, these uh, Koreans. Jay was part of the winning Sudaman Cup team a couple of years ago. He's also won a couple of men's doubles titles this year in Hong Kong and Vietnam and lost in three other finals. And as a mixed doubles pair, he and Che Yujung there have taken down the German Open and the Spain Masters in 2019. And they got to the showpiece match as well in Chinese Taipei. So decent season for these two, which has seen them consolidate their top 10 ranking. In the umpire's chair, 
Omen Fung from Hong Kong. And he will be assisted by service judge Wayana from Indonesia. There he is. Those little perspex bits of plastic in front of him on the metal poles. They have to make sure that no service delivered too high. He'll call it if uh, a service infringing the rules must be below 1.15 meters. And actually, the players have I think, adapted pretty well to what's what was a new rule, experimental last year, a new rule this season. Final preparations then. Ready to play? Thank you. Umpire poised for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Dr. Ivan Raja, with your ball for round of two, Thailand. And on my left, Andy Tolson, Jane, Korea. Suffering current lunches serve to show some gym. Love all. Play. So here we go, first shuttle about to be struck in anger at these World Tour Finals. Every time I watch this Thai pair, One I just get the sense so much depends on Tara Tanachai's ability at the net. She's so quick, she anticipates so well. Serving now. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Lee Shawai, Shen Shen Tan, Korea. And on my left, Park Lee Yong, well, it was great defense initially from Terra Tanachai and Purvaranyakro, and then they turned defense into attack in the blink of an eye. And if these two do get off to a fast start, Koreans might have a problem. So they really are momentum players. The, the game of badminton is so much about momentum, but these two could just reel off points for fun if they're in the mood. Straight down the middle, so often a dangerous place. And all Sio could do was get a well the edge of a racket to it. And off to a bit of a flyer here, the ties. Just gets harder and harder to stop the rot. Just can't see where the next point's coming from. Well, it took an error. Seven. Unusual that from Teratanachai. Very uncharacteristic, but it does put the Korean Four. pair on the board at least. Love. Now, what can Che Yu Jung do? Serving here. Went for the flicker straight away. Good leave from CO. Three. And five. as uncharacteristic as Terra Tanachai's early miss was Lady. from close range, also unusual to see her partner go wide because it was only mid court. And that's long. A ah. little bit of drift five. in the hall five. going from front to back and left to right on your screen. 
So five straight points for the Thais, four straight points back for the Koreans. Service over. Six, four. Xiao and Che really have been ultra consistent over the past couple of seasons. They only deserve their place here in the top eight. Great defence from Che Yu Jung. They didn't get the point, but it took an almighty Seven, effort four. from Puyva Renukro there to get it done. Seven, seven. Three, six. Ah, oh, terrific rally. Seven. And you've got to give Four. credit to the Korean pair Seven. just for sticking Four. in there. And they are hanging on in this opening five. game. Seven. Having trailed five love at one stage. Frustrated. Quite Service deep enough over. for clear, and it was punished Eight in no five. uncertain terms Nine by Dechapol Purva and your crew. Just to mention, we do have Hawkeye here this week. Each pair will have two challenges per game, and if they're successful, they get to keep it. Whoa. Great play at the net again from Terra Tanitra. That's what she's so Nine good at. Five. As soon as he goes. That rat a tat tat style at the net, you fear for her opponents. That's a good lead. Just for a second, Ten, I thought I was going to play that. She thought better of it. It's probably an advantage to be on first if you win, obviously. You've got maximum amount of rest and recuperation. One challenge remaining. Seven, seven, five, nine, one. Just long. Series over. Six, ten. Oh! Service over. Eleven, six, nine, interval. So a healthy lead. Eleven, six in the tie pair's favour as they go for the mid-game interval. Coach, return to your chair. Sorry? 
Encore. Search on the floor. Do I? Seven, seven. Seven. Ten. Two. Eleven, six. Flat. So we're going to see a Korean fight back here. It's opening game. Beautifully placed. That really was clever from Che Yu Jung. Eight, exactly what she was doing. Completely unguarded area of the court. And for all the power that we so often see in badminton, there's a significant place for subtlety. Nine, 11. So the first three points after the mid-game interval have gone the Koreans' way. Okay. Oh. Hey. Too much angle. Ten, That's the problem. 11. So wary of Che Yujun. Uh, predatory ability at the net just tried to create too much of an acute angle on that occasion. 11, eight. Well, this is a, an excellent fight back 11, from 11 6 down. They're on terms now. Xiao and Che. Well, that'll disappoint him massively. Four, really will. With all that hard work, come back from 11 6 down and then just give them a point. But they still take this position, obviously, from where they were. Haven't yet led in this game. Well, he had four goes, and uh, on the final attempt. Service over. Tara Tanachai was just a spectator watching the shuttle land a meter or so to her left. You know who at the net again. Service over. 13. Well. Yeah, beautifully set up. Lovely Three. drop shot from Purva Crow and then a very easy kill. Four. Wonderful, deft touch, and uh, that was never coming back. So home been pegged back. Little uh, spurt here from the ties. Get. 
Oh, yes. That is tremendous. 16. That really oh. is. First, the fabulous resistance, and then she finds the winner. Sarah Tanachai, the first player ever to win Grand Prix titles in all three disciplines. 14. So women's singles, Eleven. women's doubles are mixed. Obviously the oh. Grand Prix events don't exist anymore, but the achievement remains and it's a considerable one. 17, 12. And all of a sudden they've taken or retaken control of the opening Listen. game would be a better description. 12, 14. Very, very sharp. Over any crow, it's at the body of CO, we couldn't do anything with it. So just a couple of points away now from securing the opening game. The world number four pair. Well, terrific rally and ended by a wonderful piece of deception from Sio Sung Jae. Not what either of the ties were expecting. He hit that absolutely perfectly. It was good. 14, 19. I think that's just about the first error of judgment from either pair in the match. 13. On the 33rd point. Yeah, well done. Won the battle with Terra Tanachai and knew there was no way that Purva Ranyukro could get across. Great play from Chai Jun. But still, they've got it all to do. Come back and pull this opening game out of the fire. Very positive again from 16, the Koreans. 19. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remain. 7 7. 14 16. That is marvellous. That really is. Out of nothing, she pulls out these outright winners and it sets up four game points. Almost was figuring it out as the shuffle was in the air coming towards her. In split second. That'll do it. Intriguing opening game. There were five love up. Back came the Koreans. The ties reasserted. Half a comeback, but in the end, 
I can't say that Fuerverenia Crow and Terra Tanacho didn't deserve that opening game. In the end, it's a convincing enough scoreline. Seven, seven, seventy, sixty. Caught one, twenty seconds. Caught one, twenty seconds. Interesting tactics from the ties for Sarah Tanner trying to go for the flicker on the first point, and they were kind of in the ascendancy for the rest of it. In the end, it was a very straightforward put away for Sarah Tanner, almost poaching off the back of the partner's excellent smash that preceded it. That was a Two, delicious five. angle that Terra Tanachai found there again, putting Chen Yujun under pressure. <laughs> How did you get that back? Terra Tanachai. It's very unorthodox. 19, yes, well done. Che Yu Jung has actually won a couple of points in those net battles with Satsiri Terra Tanachai. She's left the tie on the seat of her shorts there. That was the longest rally of the match. Thank you. 
Miss hit that. That was uh, nowhere near off the centre of the Three, racket. Citizen. 80. 90. Confident leave, it was some way beyond the back line. Four, three. Okay. First game won by Kim So Yun, Kong Yi Yong, 21 18. Oh, what a, what a shot! Didn't win at the point, but the crowd Service loved it. Over. Over. Wasn't just a trick shot, but it was hit so hard at it. It's just pure reactions, really. That's the. And there it was. <laughs> yeah, if you give. Opportunities Five, like that from four. pretty much the service line. You're going to pay a, a pretty heavy price. Oh. 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 Service over. Five, all. Previous point, by the way, was the first time the Koreans have been ahead in either of the two games. Never led in the opener. The lead in this game was pretty short lived as well. Six, five. Go to 20 seconds. Go to 20 seconds. Second game, level. Seven, five. Oh, what a good flick serve. The last thing she was expecting, by the look of it, she's okay. I'm just going to mop the court, it's not an injury break. Landed fairly heavily on that knee, though. Feeling it a little bit. And don't forget, this is the conclusion of a, of a long, hard season for all these players. Three. Long. Just missed. Service over. A little bit fortunate there, the Koreans, because they were in no position whatsoever to defend that. They, they didn't leave it, but it was uh, pretty adjacent to that back line.
Well, oh, both both pairs using the One, flick serve to good effect. Seven, They're both using it as kind of a, a surprise weapon, just occasionally. Oh. And now he'll wish to try Seven, that again. Over. He gifts Nine, the ties a point. Second time they've. Done that. Oh. Ah. Well, that Two, was three. <laughs> three. Oh. short. It was that serve. Eight, nine. They got the treatment. They deserved to. The twixt in between, really. Thank you. Careless again. Just can't afford that against such a talented and consistent pair on the other side of the net. Well, surprising miss that. Very surprising. Because it looked as though. Whoever ran your and Terra Talichard worked that perfectly. Three, Doesn't do that four. very often. Oh. It's a great smash, though. To end the first half of the second game. A slender lead for the ties. That was a little bit tame. Nine. Just didn't get the racket in the right position. It was a little awkward the height it came at him at, but getting to the point where they just have to cut out any unforced errors, otherwise this match is only going one way. Another point that's gone astray. Thank you. No chip. Oh, she does that so well. Just the anticipation and then the execution. Just had to touch it. a big lead and I, I guess it is but already in this match Sio and Che have won five points on the bounce so not over yet Hello. 
Well, they're almost permanently on the defensive at the moment, the Koreans. Just got no answer. Won all five points since that mid-game interval. What looks like being a decisive phase of this match. Well, they needed that badly. Six, five, very old, ten, sixteen. going to be well wide and the mini fight back could be on here from Sion Che it's now or never really she could in the end the power oh, of Sios and Jay just wore her down and they're back in this second game albeit still behind but finally with a little bit of impetus a bit of momentum said they're capable of stringing together a run of successive points that's what they're doing now at least asking the Thai pair a question a wonderful angle again from Terra Terra Giant. Sio was stretching and he couldn't control it. And just as they did in the first game, at the business end, the ties appear to have kicked on here. That's a good shot. Might have been a miss hit actually, you know. Thought he deliberately played the deception, but I'm not sure he did. It was a Hand of apology there for the, for the miscue. Either way, they'll take points any way they can get them. Good pressure again from Sio and Che. You've got to admire the attitude here. They're going to really make the ties work for it. Still have three of the Chrome and Terra Tanachai's massive favourites, but when they get across the line, sometimes the hardest hurdle to clear is the last one. Seven, seven. Seven. No. Well, that's very unfortunate for Sio and Che. The net board at an absolutely vital 19, moment 18. in game two. What would have been 1816 becomes 1915.
Well, that's a really good return. Read the serve. And still pressurizing, still believing. See how in chain. That was good as well. 17, Just wonder there, that lead from the ties, because that was in by a good, good margin. Almost trying to fall over the line rather than sprint over it. Sometimes that can cost you. Massive point coming up. Well, sometimes it's tough when a, when a player was down and uh, Tera Tanachai was, you kind of distract a little bit, you shouldn't be, but it's, it's so easy just to take one eye off the shuttle. They surrendered the initiative in the point. And now it is three match points for Pervaronia Crow and Tera Tanachai. Seven, seven, twenty, seven, match point, seventeen. Snatched at that a little bit. Off the net. Well, it was hanging by a thread, their chances for a moment. But somehow, they battle back to win the point. So two match points saved, one more to go. This really would be a game to win from where they were. Play. Nineteen five. Play. Oh. Oh. And that's, uh, that's going to be the match. Just flick the racket. No complaints from the Koreans. They crawled over the line in the end, didn't they? 21-19 in that second game. But good enough to see Pua crew and Tera Tanachai kick off these World Tour finals with a victory. Well worth having a look at this last point. Yeah, just it just flicked off the racket of of Che Jung. She knew it. She knew it. So 21-16, 21-19, 42 minutes on court. We're back momentarily with some men's doubles. Don't go away. Seven, seven. 14. 